We are sharing some tips today in the event that you have been laid off, you've been furloughed, or guess what? You have a side hustle that you have decided you wanna make your full-time hustle. So we're gonna be sharing some tips today on how you can be rebranding yourself on social media. Now, number one is to go to your LinkedIn because that's where people that are looking for jobs or people that are looking to hire are probably going to be. So in your tagline, you wanna write what it is that you do. So in my case, it says television anchor and it says founder of Lady Drinks. But here's the next part that's really important and people are only gonna see this when they see you in a listicle versus your profile in its entirety, is what are you seeking? Mine says I'm seeking South Asian women executives interested in their self-development. You only have a limited amount of characters, but it's important to put in there exactly what it is that you're seeking. The next section to tackle is recruiters. There's actually an on off button that sits just beneath your tagline and you can turn that on or turn that off based on whether or not you are actually looking for a job. The third section is the about section and this is really an opportunity for you to tell a story. Yes, you worked at XYZ jobs, but how do you connect the dots and share that all of these experiences make you good at this particular competency. So for me, I've been a television anchor for 20 years and I have the ability to find guests. I have the ability to track them down and then I have the ability to moderate conversations with them. So those are the things that I would be saying is, is are the keystones to what led to my success in hosting Lady Drinks. Some people would argue that you need to make that section in third person because if somebody's gonna go and cut and paste, something about you in order to make an introduction in an email, it's best to tell that story in a third person. You can pick, but as long as you're telling a story in a compelling one, that's what all that matters. I also use my about section to talk about upcoming events. I uh, um, have some pieces of thought leadership in there. And then also if people wanna hire me to speak, I have my email right in there. So even if you aren't friends with me on LinkedIn, you have the ability to connect me, connect to me for business inquiries. The next piece that's really important is to ask for recommendations, especially for particular skill sets that you know and you've already decided that you wanna be able to be hired for. So the way that you ask for recommendations in LinkedIn is that you actually have to generate the, you have to generate the request from the LinkedIn um, interface, and then you send that via the messenger function to whomever it is that you're asking for the recommendation. They, it sends them an auto-generated link, and the person that's filling out the recommendation for you fills that out, and then it gets auto-posted, and then you have the option to auto-post it to your profile. I think the last thing that I want to talk about is it's important to update all of your social um, media to make sure that everything reflects your current sort of status because people are searching for you. They're going to search for you the minute that your name comes across the desk. And so they want to be able to get a 360 view of who you are. So it's so important to say not only what your achievements are, but back it up with metrics. I was at this company in this position for three months. And in that time, I was able to raise the revenue from 30% to 45%. Those are the metrics that I'm talking about. And talk about wins. I had this problem, this is what I did to solve it, and this is what the end result. Think in, th in terms of case studies, and that's always a compelling way to kind of share your wins as you're listing each of the jobs that you have underneath in the sort of resume section of LinkedIn. So I hope this is helpful for you. If you are looking to reinvent yourself, if you have lost your job or you're being furloughed and you're really thinking about how to repackage yourself for social media so that you can be hired again. We are hosting a series of workshops tomorrow. Um, we've actually got two happening tomorrow. One is on how to network online and find clients. That's often a tough um, tough proposition in this, in this environment, but we're gonna be sharing some tips around that. And then just in the afternoon, we're going to be sharing productive and polished how to come across as a leader when you are working from home remotely and video is your only modality by which you're able to reach your employees or your team all those details are on ladydrinks.com or on eventbrite.com and i hope you can join us because they're both excellent speakers and are returning to lady drinks they've actually spoken here before have a great tuesday